always worked. There we go. So, right now we're waiting up the trailer. We're actually gonna go take the S13 to hopefully swap it for another car. So you hopefully will see that in this video. Hopefully it's uh, not too much of a dunger, but it's a bit better in my eyes for what I want. So I'm pretty keen on it. Hopefully it's, uh, it's all good. But we'll take you guys on the journey. We'll see you guys when their scene's on the trailer. Hopefully this flat tire doesn't give us any grief, but she'll be right. On the trailer and we're ready to go so got to make a quick stop off to get some food as well as get some rear interior because he wants the uh, rear seats and everything just um that's what we gotta do so we're on the move now hopefully everything goes smoothly oh man she actually looks so good on the trailer Maybe I should keep it and track it. Just went and picked up some rear interior from my friend Danny. This awesome little S13 here and his 33 sedan. Look at him, sexual, sexual beast. The old trusty S13, pulling the S14 out. She doesn't run, it's all good. Doing the old changer over, changing the wheels. Say goodbye to the S13. Uh, we're back now, it's the next day. I didn't end up filming too much last night just because it got dark. Because um, we ended up getting there pretty late. Uh, here we have the all new and improved S14. It's um, going to be the new street car. So what we've done, we've swapped the S13 for this thing. Um, but it's not just the standard S14. It actually has an RB2530 in it. So it's pretty much exactly what I want. An S chassis with an RB. So it doesn't run at the moment. It's been sitting for about a year. So it's got real dirty fuel in it um, and the tune is probably horrible but the only real downside to this thing is sort of the driver's side uh, as you can see it's got might be a bit hard to see but it's had a bit of a side swipe once before so has some uh, has been bogged a little bit this side and then this side here uh, has a bit of a hit so I might just spray a bit of paint on that just for now just so it doesn't get get rusty um, and then probably once I get it running and stuff, drive around for a little bit and then maybe send it to someone to get it fixed properly because I can't do stuff like that. But overall, I'm pretty stoked. It is bone stock besides the 2530, which is apparently built. So apparently it's forged. Uh, yeah, which is pretty much ideal for my situation. <laughs> As you can see, it is absolutely bone stock on the inside. Uh, just needs a radio, has the center and stuff, the boot in the back there. As you can see, I am very happy with this. It has 2.20 on the clock, but yeah, I'm very happy. So what we'll do is I've moved the truck car, moved the truck car out of the way, put it over there. I'm gonna get this off, try to get it started today. So I'm gonna drain the tank, uh, new fuel filter, have a look at the pump, um, and just, yeah, see if we can get it started. Because I tried to start last night with the guy, but it backfired like crazy, so I'm like, not gonna bother trying. So I mean, we'll get off the trailer and we'll start having to play with it. She's off the trailer. And this is what we got going. So I'm pretty happy with it, but there are a lot of um, things wrong with it that I need to sort out. That looks so odd. I've actually never seen a 2530 in person. So because the blocks are taller, there's actually a big gap right here. So you can actually see into the timing belt. Let's see, a bit odd. I don't know how I feel about 2530s. Um, either way, 
It's got a max speeding rods turbo. It's got a China high mount. Obviously got a forward facing plenum like the Freddy. Uh, it's got side feed injectors. I'm assuming are, are stock. So I'll need to get a new fuel rail, uh, new injectors for it. Um, I'll see if I can hit up hyper gear, get a new turbo for it. Eventually, these, these are all these are all things in time. But I'm gonna, I'll probably, the first thing I'll do is do new cooler piping, because this is all gross. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this cooler piping at all. Um, it's got a pretty thick cooler in there, which isn't too bad. But um, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously needs a lot of tidying up. But yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is start ripping in to pull the fuel pump out. Uh, let's just have a smell of how, how bad the fuel smells. That'll sort of give us an indication of um, how long it has been sitting. But just look at this. Ready? Get this one Oh, pops open, boots up. Watch how nice. Oh yeah, and this is uh, apparently what it's got in it. Um, yeah, manly rods, CP pistons, heavy duty valve springs. So just watch, watch this. Ah, I didn't shut. All right, ready? Oh, it sounds so good. Everything seems to close real nice on this. So, I'm very, very happy. So anyway, we'll start pulling this fuel pump out and I'll come, do it. I'll come back to you guys in a second. I've got the fuel pump out, and I've pulled off the filters on the bottom of the pump, giving a bit of a clean up, some carby cleaner here. As you can see, look how brown that is. So I'm assuming it's gonna be dirty fuel. So we're gonna drain, yeah, like I said, drain the tank, new filter, uh, clean this up, and yeah, just make sure she's all good. You're gonna have to rewire another in a relay as well for this thing, because it's uh, a pretty sure it's a wall bro. Um, and yeah, it's got no relay, so I have to wire that in which isn't too biggie, thanks to Elijah. He's always helped me out, give me tips on how to do stuff because I cannot do wiring. So, yeah. So, just give it a bit of carby cleaner in there. And then. Get a bit of carby cleaner, clean this thing out. I'll get the sucker, I'll suck the fuel out. One thing I want to quickly do is because this is all bare metal, I got some this, this rust guard stuff. I'm just going to spray over it, just sort of keep it from um, getting any worse. Because it's been sitting in the shed, and this thing's probably going to sit outside. We have no room in our workshop, so give her a bit of a spray. That should, that should just do the job for a little bit now. Might do one more, maybe. Nah, that should be fine. That's all it needs. I thought I'll quickly just interrupt this video of the S14 just to show you something funny I found on the R33. I'm pulling the alternator off, of, I'm pulling the alternator back off it because it's actually off my girlfriend's uh, C33 Laurel and I'm finding some problems with this alternator which I think is hilarious. First of all, our first issue is the tensioner bolt is missing. Then I'm looking down, so that there is the bolt that tightens the bottom of the alternator. And I'm trying to fill around and find the bottom bolt down here. And where is it? There's no bolt. It's completely missing. So all that's holding it on is the belt and this adjuster. Or oh, this 12mm bolt here. Where is it? There. And I just thought I'd let I'd film that because I think it's hilarious. Anyway, back to the new S14. Alright, we got the fuel pump back in, change the filter. We also got Jay Handsome over here, he's going to be on the starter motor, so... Best of luck, fingers crossed. Yeah, um, I'm a bit scared because when we started it last night, it just backfired like crazy, so... Give it a shot. Fuel pressure. It's got 40 psi fuel pressure, so and, uh, maybe the injectors have been unplugged by accident. Don't think so. All right, all right. come on, Jay, work some magic. It's not an SR, mate. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we done, Jay? New plugs, check the timing. 
Is the timing timing good? I don't know about the timing on this thing being a 25-30. It looks like it might be a 2 foul, but it still should run. So give her a shot. We put the cast a bit of a different spot. Go ahead. Do it because like I do it with my brother and he fucks it up all the time. I press it, I press the recorder. I don't press it. He doesn't press it. Fucking annoying. It will drain the oil. She's black. You ready? Oh, I can feel it. Ugh. Fuck yeah. Always being looked after. I've only done three thousand k's since the last build. Oh my god, is that diesel oil? Unless they put diesel oil in there. That's pretty bad. And again, it is an RB30. Probably the same oil when it was first put out in the factory. 1989 <laughs> oil. <laughs> That's rough. But good news is it does actually have a turbo box. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Turbo box, a bit of oil leak. Nice gearbox mount. So we're happy, happy days. Just um, just gonna film the dump pipe. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. that. Looks, like, looks like you welded it. No, come on, mate. <laughs> Come on, look at the gate too. But yeah, it's completely bone stock, which is meant it's everything on it is bone stock, which is what I want. Um, so happy days. Perfect stray car. Perfect. So if someone knows anyone who can do an engineers on it, because uh, I need that done eventually. So sweet. Thanks, Jay. Oh. Alright, we chuck some fresh oil in it, new filter, and some engine flush. We've also just noticed that it's actually got different coloured injectors, so possibly part of the reason why this thing runs like a dog. We've got grey here, all these are purple, and the last one's grey, so not ideal. Let's see if she starts. Scan. Oh, I up her first shot, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait. You can hear how loud the timing bell is. Like, right, that's going to be it for this little episode on the newly purchased, newly swapped S14. Definitely needs some loving, which is obvious. 
Unfortunately, it's got a few dints and dings here, which uh, a one day a one day fix, I guess you could say. That like band has got a thirty in it. It sits real high, so it's got dints on the bonnet. Uh, someone's used extended bolts here, so it's dinted through on both sides. It's also dints up the guards and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not perfect, but I don't really care. I'm pretty pretty happy given the circumstances. A little disappointed with the ECU though. Uh, he did say I had a Link G4X and it does not have a Link G4X, so that's uh, two grand I'm gonna spend right there. Hopefully we can sort something out. Um, but Jay has convinced me to not get GDR wheels as of yet and to try find another pair of VSXXs. So I'm still gonna sell the meshies, which came off the S13 slash R33 streetcar and then we'll try to get another pair of these. I'll retire these off of the truck car and I'll just put these back on the front for the truck car and then, yeah, have a full set of VSXXs on this thing. But yeah, I can't remember if I showed the interior or not, but it's complete interior. There's a radio on the back seat, so everything's there. I've just pulled that apart to look at the ECU. Uh, as you can see, yeah, uh, it's pretty well, it's pretty well complete. This thing, all it really needs is a cut and polish, probably will come up pretty decent. So I need to do, obviously I want to get this ECU sorted first, uh, then once that's sorted, probably can drive it, then we'll do a new turbo, probably keep the high mount on it, just do some modifications to the wastegate, because it's a bit, a bit janky, do all new core piping on it, if you can get it running, maybe new injectors, get it running perfect, then we'll start looking on cleaning up the engine bay properly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you're not too bummed about the S13 not really having a life on this channel but S14 hopefully will be my hopefully be my forever car or at least a very long time car have a quick nice street car that's that's what I want I think that'll be awesome so hopefully you guys enjoy see you guys next video thanks for watching